In example number three, we're going to be testing symmetry with respect to the origin. Um, and uh, we can see that by these two examples right here, by this hyperbola. <clears throat> if, if you have a point that's at x, y, and if you just take the opposite of negative x and y, and all those points uh, follow that uh, pattern right there, then this is going to be symmetrical with respect to the origin. You can see it even here for this guy as well. And so we can do this both algebraically and graphically. Uh, graphically, uh, we can just kind of you know test and see what it, what it looks like right there. So maybe we'll go ahead and do this guy. So we'll do x equals uh, y squared minus 2, which actually is this. So I'll just go ahead and just put a minus 2 there, and we'll do that, bam. So by, by looking at this right now, I mean, this doesn't even look like, I mean, again, what I said right here was if you have a point x, y, then it has to be negative x, negative y. And even if we took this point, I don't know, 2, 2, then we should have the point negative 2, negative 2 down here, right? So we get to see, obviously, that this is not symmetrical across the um, origin, but it is actually against the x-axis here. And, and this guy, y equals 2x, uh, y equals a 2x. Again, I'm using Desmos right here if you're wondering what graphing calculator I'm using. It's freaking awesome. It has all kinds of cool tools, uh, but, but Desmos is the way to go. Uh, here, this is going to give us uh, with respect to the origin, right? I mean, even if you look at this point, uh, 1, 2, right? So, so that means we, we should have the point negative 1, negative 2, and we do right here, right? So uh, just following our pattern right here, this is what you should find if something is uh, reflected symmetrical, actually, against the, um, the, the origin. So... We're not even going to bother to do part part A because we know it's not. But I mean, but you could also do it though um, algebraically. Basically, all you have to do is replace x and y with negative and negative, and you should get the exact same thing. So if I did that with the first one, negative x equals negative y squared minus two, then that means I get negative x equals a positive y squared minus two. I mean, this isn't equivalent to that guy. I mean, even if you got rid of this negative sign and divide it by um, a negative one on both sides and that means we'll get a uh, two minus y squared that's still not equivalent to this so that's how we know even if we didn't know what the graph looked like uh, this is not reflected across um, the origin but though it is on this guy right here right because if I replace x and y with negative ch ch check this bad boy out we're gonna get two times negative x well, isn't that the exact same thing? If I divide both sides by negative 1, I get y equals 2x. Well, bam! So by replacing x and y with both negative, we get the exact same equation, which is what you need to do to test if something is um, uh, reflected across or symmetric across the origin. So, bam!